Hello, and this is Spellbinder with this update on... Oh, that's an article from Farm Wars. It's an update on Aspartame, I'll have to admit that. They have actually taken Aspartame now and reconfigured and renamed it and so they could put it in all our organic foods as a sweetener and additive. Yes, they just can't keep from putting a neurotoxic substance in our food. The brain damage people. I just don't under to cause nervous damage. I mean, I don't know how much the pharmaceuticals are now paying the FDA for this, but it must be in the billions now that the FDA is making off of the pharmaceutical companies that, well, it isn't Monsanto anymore, but that's who started to make aspartame before. It's an all-new poison company. Mm -hmm. This really makes me mad. I sit here and I think about all the craziness that's going on out there with the unemployment being really around 25-30%. The uh, birds falling out of the sky in Arkansas around Beesby. And that's pretty bad. There's like 2,000 they have counted now and it dropped out of the sky. Uh, calls still unknown. Let's see, what else? Uh, Oh, that's the biggest thing besides this new neotame. They're going to force down all our throats, even if we're health food people. They're going to make sure you get your share of the neurotoxin in your diet. And this is the article here. And it really makes me mad because I know they're nuts. <laughs> the USD certified organics dirty little secret neotame. This is another article by Barbara Peterson, who runs off. Uh, farm wars. Just when we thought that buying organic was safe, we run headlong into the deliberate poisoning of our organic food supply by the FDA in collusion with none other than the folks who brought us aspartame NutraSweet, a former Monsanto asset, has developed a new and improved version of this neurotoxin called Neotame. Yes, new, you gotta have your Neotame today. Don't forget to take your Neotame. Mm. See commercials now. Neotame has similar structure to aspartame, except that from its structure appears to be even more toxic than aspartame. This potential increase in toxicity will make up the fact that less will be used in diet drinks like aspartame. Some of the concerns include gradual neurotoxic and immo anemotoxic damage from the combination of the formaldehyde metabolic which is toxic at extremely low doses in the exotoxic anemo acid. But surely this product would be labeled not so. For this little gem, no laboring required, and it's even included in USDA certified organic food. Yes, the USDA even approves neurotoxins for your brains. They said, you're not getting poisoned enough. You're too smart. We can't fool you no more. We can't make you believe anything. you got to believe us so we can kill you under Agenda 21. You'll walk into the gas chambers with a smile on your face. The food laboring requirements required for aspartame have now been dropped for neotame, and no one is clear why this was allowed to happen. Neotame has been ruled acceptable, and without being included in the list of ingredients for the USDA certified organic food items or certified kosher products with the official, you know, the letter K inside the circle on label saying that this is kosher, this is good and wholesome and God-given. No, now the K means kill. Kill, that's what the K means now. Let me make this perfectly clear. Neotame does not have to be included in any list of ingredients. So if you buy a processed food, whether USDA certified or organic or not, that food most likely will contain neotame because it is cost effective. And since no one knows it is there, there is no public backlash similar to what is happening with aspartame. A win-win situation. But that's not all. Just love chowing down on that delicious steak. Well, that cow most likely will have been fed with feed containing, you guessed it, neotame, a product called Sweetos. That's right. Farmers, if you see this on your grain, it says Sweetos. Throw it out. Take it back. 
complain, say it killed one of your cows, anything. <laughs> but get it off the market, which is actually composed of neotame, is being substituted for molasses and animal feed. Sweetos is an economic uh, substitute for molasses. Sweeto guarantees the masking of unpleasant taste and odor to improve the patability of feed. This product will be economical for farmers and manufacturers of cattle feed. It can also be used in min mineral mixture, said Craig Petre, CEO in NutraSweet Company, a division of Cyril, which is part of the Monsanto poisoners and GMO Franken monsters. Why would why would we feed animals food that is so distasteful that we have to mask the unpleasantness of the taste with an artificial sweetener? Think about it. Why would they need to cover it up? Grain cows are not supposed to eat things that taste nasty. They don't eat things nasty. They eat grasses and stuff. But they're going to give them this grain that's putrid. Probably has animal carcass in it. And that's what's been giving them, uh, giving them the oh uh, cow brain disease because they've been feeding them meat that cows aren't even designed to eat. They got seven stomachs to design to eat grasses and convert them into energy, not meat from chickens and whatever else they grind up and throw into their meal to fatten them up. Uh, most animals will not eat spoiled, rancid feed. They know by the smell that it's not good. Enter Sweetos, Neotame. Just cover up the unpleasant taste and odor and you can feed them anything you want to, courtesy of O. Oh, so considerate folks at Monsanto and company. But of course, Monsanto was no longer associated with NutraSweet in time-honored tradition of covering its assets. I mean, assets. Monsanto has a proven track record of spinning off controversial portions of its company that generates too much scrutiny, such as it did with the solution or with uh, Solusha solution. Hmm. Says the farm industry news. Monsanto which has long resisted the crosshairs of public or recited in the crosshairs of public scorn and scrutiny appears to have dodged at least one bullet by spinning off its industrial chemical business into a separate entity called Solusha a couple of years ago. Solusha has been hammered by lawsuits regarding PCB contamination from what were once called Monsanto chemical plants in Alabama and other states. So what is the solution to this problem? Buy local organic food. Know your local farmer and don't buy processed foods whether they are labeled organic or not. This requires a drastic change in our lifestyle that most will not want to make. For those who chooses to ride the will of chance by subscribing or subscribing to this genocidal alteration of our food supply by those who stand to profit from our sickness and early demise, my only comment is, it is your choice, but for those of us who have decided to fight this battle one bite at a time by hitting these social paths in the pocketbook where it hurts. Viva la revolution! And there you have it. I mean, this is bad. Let's go here and put NutraSweet in everything. A known neurotoxin that makes brain cells frizzle, fry, and pop what you need in your diet a frizzle fried pop brains it's bad enough that I go and work with people who has been de-educated under the de-education system I mean I swear I ran into a guy who was only about 15 years younger than me and he did not know how the moon went around the earth how the Sun rises and falls uh, why the sky is blue, grass is green, he didn't have no idea. He goes, oh really? Uh, someone else was talking about that. Oh yeah, Jordan Maxwell. He was talking about, he was out with some teenagers on this thing. He was doing the talk and uh, they were watching a comet. And one of the teenagers, 15 year old, goes, well, what is that? He goes, a comet. And he goes, well, what's that? He didn't even have an idea of what a comet was. These people are so de-educated now. They have totally de-educated. I mean, I've seen guys who can't even write a sentence and make it 
make it readable. It's just, you know, they don't have any uh, sentence contacts. They can't write in contacts. They, they write a sentence and it's, it looks like something a doctor would write for a prescription. Now only a pharmacist could read. I mean, it's just, it's terrible. What's what's coming down the pike at us? The de-education and everything. How they've dumbed everyone down, turned one into dummies. I just I don't know, people. What we're gonna do? It's getting worse and worse day by day. Now it's 2011, the third day, and I don't see anything any better. Like I said, birds falling from the sky, chemtrails being concentrated double. Uh, unemployment rate unknown because they won't tell us the bottom line they break it up into three parts and say there you go it's in three parts you figure it out and when you add the three parts together it comes out 25 30 percent unemployed which is equal to the 1933 unemployment rate of the Great Depression <laughs> oh boy are we in trouble today I mean, I just keep hearing more and more stuff coming down the pipe with them. They just keep pushing it on us. Push, push, push. More, more, more. Uh, guard towers going up in Walmart parking lots. There's another one. Yes, they got the mobile guard post that, that rise up. And they sit up there in the top with about four or five cameras, route speakers. Supposedly, if you go to the website, you can read up on these towers, and they even have weapons in them for crowd control. You can get them installed. And they're in North Carolina right now. Let's look up uh, Mobile Guard Towers, North Carolina, and you'll find that's you'll find a uh, article or two about that. Maybe even the video on YouTube that's in there. Just go to YouTube and put in a search <laughs> Mobile Towers guard towers uh, and watch the videos there see these people going man they're guard towers actually the thing comes down they get inside and they go up in these things and uh, they sit there and watch people in Walmart parking lots and you thought Neopolitan was was kidding when she was talking about that that for some reason or another Walmart's a terrorist target she wasn't kidding <laughs> she apparently believes in her heart that Walmart is is hated by the terrorists, hate it worse than the universe or something, and they're going to be attacked. This sounds like to me that's where the first mall bomb is going to go off when it does start happening because it's going to be an inside job. It's going to be another one of them things. Yeah, false flag incidents. Man. Oh well. It's about all in the news today I got. I mean, I've been reading through the news and I haven't. I've been waiting for rents.com to update, put new articles up, been through all of them. Like, shoot, I don't know. See what else I can do here. What happens when I do that? This is what's on rents. No. Everybody likes to go to rents. Rents.com. It's one of my favorite sites to go and get information. Look, mortally wounded by the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, America, 1776. That's when our country actually ended. It was in 1770, or it's 1913 when the Federal Reserve got control, got its claws into our money. It was all over with. With. Look how the U.S. government hides the depression. U.S. drones pack deaths now. <laughs> 2043, mostly civilians. That's right, they're out there killing civilians and they wonder why there's blowback. Ah, oh, man. I, mean, I can just go through this. This is, this is what's on rents today. Well, that's it for today, I guess. I'm going to get off here and post this and be done for today. I may post that one article, too, on the unemployment rate being at 25-30% because it's a pretty interesting article in itself put out by a CPA who actually did his homework and said this is what the real crime is and the unemployment. Well, till next time, this is Spellbinder saying be good, be good at it, good day.